Hello and welcome back, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using two new stamp sets. The first one being Pretty Perennials. This is a millionaire stamp, so the person who designed this had sold a million pounds worth of products and got to design their own stamp set. I quite like this, so that's this one we're going to be using. The medium flower, the small flower, the tiny leaves here. Is it them ones? No, it's them ones, the full ones. And, oh, that's it out of the stamps. The dies, I have used this die. And I have cut out a few of them already. Might need to cut in a couple more, you never know. If we do, we'll use that. Also using the dies from Handsomely Suited. I have used the bow and I have cut out three bows. and this little die here which is the knot for the bow which is these little things here I don't know if you can see them there which we will glue together and I've already cut them out and I've also cut out a strip of this for to act as a ribbon now I could have just used I didn't have any purple posy ribbon so that's why I've done, I've used this. That is my ribbon. So I'll put that back in. And I actually cut one in paper and one in card, which I'm going to stick that to that just to give it a bit of strength. And I also used the old uh, fancy edge dies. I don't know if they're still current. Let's have a look. Um, sh shout if you see them. No, 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 no. I bet they're not. got them and I haven't used them for a while. Hmm. Need to think about some of that. No, it doesn't look like they're still current. Sorry about that. They're not current anymore. But I've used it. And you can use any edge dies that you want. So that is what I've done on it. This was five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I cut the um, what do you call it? The die, edge die off the edge. I've also got a piece of purple posy at one inch by five and five eighths, and that will go under there like that. We'll stick that under there like that. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half. Piece of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths with the edge cut off. A piece of purple posy at one and a half inches by five and five eighths for the edge. What else have I got? My strips for my ribbon, which will go on there and my bows which will go on like that I've also got the tailor punch and that again I don't know if it's current I 
I just use them and I forget to check if they're current or not. Oh yeah, it is. Tailored tag. Tailored tag punch. And we'll be doing a bit of heat embossing. And this stamp comes from the Hamsonly Suited. And it's a happy birthday to you. Which will heat emboss. So, to get started, let's just glue my bow together. Now when you do this, um, there is a right one, a wrong way of joining the bow. If you do it the other way, you'll soon know that if you glue them together, the knot in the middle is not even both top and bottom. There's a certain way to glue them. So this one is going to get glued on there like that. Then this is going to get glued to this one, but only in the middle. Only the knot in the middle is going to get glued to the one underneath. Now I've got my two knots here and I'm going to glue them together. And then I'm going to glue that on my bow. Like that. Now that comes just over the top and the bottom. So you only need to glue the middle bit of it. Now what I'm going to do is lift up the first bow I put down and just pull it up a bit. Same with the other side. Just so that it sticks up a little bit like that. You see that? And then that will stick in the middle of our ribbon. A ribbon I am going to stick together. I'm only doing this like this just to give it a bit of dimensional. Ah, I've stuck it on the wrong side. Right, let that dry and I'll rub that glue off. Because I've put it on the wrong side. I'll sort that out in a minute. Let's get to some stamping. <coughs> right. What we're going to do is take a drink. And I'm going to be using Daffodil Delight Seaside Spray. No, I don't want Highland Heather. I've got Purple Posy and Soft Sea Foam. So we're going to open the flowers colours first. Oh, I know what I haven't got pink. Let me get Blushing Bride. And with our medium flower, we're going to stamp some flowers. So I am just randomly stamping them. Let me get a piece of paper. So I don't mind going off the page. So that's 
the blue stamped. Um, let's do the pink. Oh, that's purple. Never mind. I've got two purple posy. Um, right. Now then, I've got the little flower and I've got some Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to stamp these in some empty spaces. Put one up there. And that's that one done. Right, let's put that away. I'm bringing off soft sea foam on our tiny leaves. And we're just going to put these randomly over the f on the flowers anywhere you want. They're very hard to see, but I didn't want like old olive or pear pizzazz on them. Just randomly stick some leaves around the flowers. Can you see that? You can't very well. Oh, if I tip it up, you can see the leaves. I like that like that. So leave it like that. Right, what we're going to do next is these cutouts. And we're just going to stick them on our big flowers. What have I got? The purple. I've only got one pink. So I need to cut another blue. So I've got some soft sea foam here. Got my plates. Let's cut out a bit of card. Cut that out. And that. That will go on there. Like that. So all we've got to do is stick these on. And just little spots of glue all over it. And glue them in. Any that were hanging that are hanging over, we'll just 
trim off once we've got them all on. That and that one will go on there, one left. And then with the scissors, you just trim off what's hanging over. Like that. Now I don't know what that is, but I'll get my rubber out. I need that one. I never put loads of glue on this. There we are. Nice. So we can glue this now on here, glue in the right side. going to glue on there like that. So we might as well do that now. And just run it up the edge of the um, fancy stitching side, whatever you like to call it and trim that off one two then this let's get stuck on here like so so what I did was I put a spot of glue on the points of the fancy edge and then I run a line of glue up here and I can see a spot that never come out there we are I'm going to place this on here. Right. 
running along the edge, that's it. And then we'll glue that onto there. We're going to glue flat in the middle. Now the middle of this is around about there I reckon. Sleeved it up, that's it. There's our nice bow. That leaves us just the sentiment to do. And guess what I haven't got? I haven't got my piece of um, Pepper Posey. Let me go and grab some Pepper Posey. With a piece of pear proposy, we're going to do our sentiment, which we're going to heat in boss. So I have got my stamp, my embossing body, which I'm just clearing up this bit. My Versa mark and my stamp. And I'm just going to pop this there. today. Just need my gun or heat tool and heat that up. So I'm going to heat that from underneath. It's already starting to. Heat up. Now just finish it off on top. Right, just waiting for that to cool down. Don't want the um, this. No. 
and we're going to punch it out and we're going to pop uh, dimensionals on top of it and pop that just there like that right I didn't do this with the other one but I'm going to put gems on them um, just my little normal if I can find them everything in here has been turned upside down looking for other gems I used and I couldn't find them so with some glue I'm going to pop a gem in the middle of each flower I did a card similar to this for my granddaughter her birthday was because you won't be seeing this you'll see this after her birthday her birthday was January the 5th and she turned 9 so I made her card off camera because I had to make it and post it so it would get to Scotland for her birthday. Right, let's do the same on this one. Looks better with the gems on it, I think. And there are our cards. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you give us a, uh, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.